As the New York City entourage meet the staff of the Berlin Fire Brigade, their interest is captured by the apparatus responding from headquarters. And the visiting firemen are soon transported to the scene of a small fire on the third floor of a warehouse. With the fire under control, the group is invited to continue their tour and see the newest fire station in Berlin, as well as demonstrations at the training school. The use of life nets, scaling ladders, and aerials seems very similar to FDNY practice. Stretching and laying hose lines, on the other hand, appears to be quite different. The next demonstration is of various kinds of breathing apparatus. followed by the use of oxygen and acetylene. Berlin firemen then show how mechanical foam can be effectively used to extinguish a flammable liquid fire. The most unique evolution of the day is the use of a water spraying helmet that allowed the firemen to reach the seat of the fire without getting burned. While touring Berlin the following day, the fire department driver checked in with fire alarm and was informed of a major fire. The smoke plumes told the visiting firemen that this fire was out of control. Reserve personnel and apparatus, including horse-drawn steamers, have been called and are hard at work.
The Berlin Fire Brigade was composed of a corps of career fire companies supplemented by volunteer companies in the outlying sections of the city. After the fire was extinguished, the special guests are allowed into the structure. They quickly realize that no matter where you are, overhaul is overhaul, and picking up hose is hard work. <laughs> 